We are tracking new developments in the decades long saga of the North South Freeway. It's been more than two months since Washington Governor Jay Inslee proposed delaying funding for the project, but lawmakers in the Washington House have a new proposal to restore that funding. Krem 2's Nathan Hyun has the latest developments as he spoke to local representatives about what this could mean. Nathan? Mark, the North-South Freeway might not be delayed after all. A new transportation budget in the Washington State House would keep funding in place for the North Spokane Corridor. This comes after Jay Inslee proposed delaying the project at the beginning of the year. 70 years, that's how long Spokane residents been waiting for the North-South Freeway. I think that it should go forward um, faster. It, it helps the community, it, it provides jobs for people. Um, and that seems to be, you know, a big issue. Bobby Fowler has lived in Spokane her whole life. She says it's getting frustrating at how long the freeway is taking. It's been a big inconvenience just due to the fact that there are a lot of roads that you're not able to access because of it. In January, Inslee cited rising construction costs and less money available to fund the project. This would have delayed the project for six years or more. <laughs> but people might not have to wait longer than they thought. We want to see this happening. I mean, the project is going full swing right now. So why stop something that's already happening? The House released its transportation budget proposal yesterday, featuring some key changes from Governor Jay Inslee's proposed transportation budget. In the proposal, lawmakers like Marcus Riccelli want to continue to fund major projects like the North Spokane Corridor. We were most opposed to a halt in the project because we knew that it would cost significant economic impacts to our region. So completing this will keep good paying jobs moving forward and get us closer to uh, less emissions, quicker travel times. The Washington State Department of Transportation told CREM2 that the North-South Freeway project is on track to be finished in 2028. So for now, Bobby doesn't mind the construction. It's good. I mean, we get a lot of the construction workers in the morning before they start work, coming in to get coffee, they come in and get snacks, treats. The project first broke ground in 2001 and when completed will be a 10.5 mile stretch of highway from Wandermere to I-90. The proposed budget for the North Spokane Corridor is set for more than $166 million and it still needs the approval of lawmakers and the governor. In the newsroom, Nathan Hyun, Krem 2 News.